All right, so if you follow any of my socials or you've been following the channel for a couple of years, you may know that I'm pretty into taking photography. Uh, I recently got back into it during COVID. I haven't taken photos in a really long time, but with the YouTube channel, I decided to invest in a decent camera, which is the A6400 that I use to record all my videos. And you may also know, if you've ever seen any of those pictures, that I basically never take pictures of people. I think I'm terrible at taking pictures of people. I basically avoid it for the most part. And I want that to change. And an event coming up this summer, I'm actually going to Europe, to Italy, for a friend's wedding. And I thought no better time than to be able to take some fun pictures with my friends. It's going to be our first trip. We've known each other since... Uh, you know, before high school, and uh, we've never actually gone on a trip out of the province together, let alone out of the country. So this is going to be a really fun time for everybody, and I thought that being able to capture that would be really, really nice. But I wanted to kind of push myself to be able to do that. This is how I'm deciding to do that. I went and bought a film camera, and I always thought that film was really, really great for taking pictures of people. And, you know, film just has that really unique aspect to it and that really unique look. Um, and I thought that this could push me to, you know, maybe practice taking pictures of people more um, and get excited about something. So this is the camera. It is a Minolta X700 35 millimeter SLR. Um, it is known to be one of the best value film cameras around. I got it for a very good price. I paid, uh, I think $60 for it, um, cash to some guy who was selling it for his wife's uh, stepfather who passed away and um, took really good care of it. I was in super shocked. I'll show you what's in the bag um, in a second because they have a lot of stuff in there. Um, but yeah, why don't we hop into that first? All right, so here's the bag, and I was shocked that they were selling all of this for 60 bucks. Um, they also included a, an old tripod, which was kind of cool. But if we go into the main compartment here, we have one of the macro zoom lenses. Um, so it's a aperture 4.5, I believe. Yep. Um, and I, I believe it goes all the way up to a 200 mil. Um, it requires an adapter, which is also in here. Um, so this is an adapter for uh, that to fit onto the camera. We also got another zoom lens. Um, so this is a fantastic... Um, f3.5 135 millimeter lens um having all of this stuff in here and in particularly pretty good shape was pretty shocking to me so that was awesome um they also included a fat flash module um which i don't know how much i'm going to use it because i don't think i'm going to be using the camera too much um indoors to a point where i need flash but i have that Again, all in the original Minolta packaging. In the front pouch here, incredibly, he had the original manuals. Um, so both for the X700 itself and just Minolta's camera photography manual. Uh, a lens cap holder, uh, extremely old, <laughs> very, very old. Um, some lens wipes, more instructions, and some solution cleaner. So in these other pockets, we've got uh, a lens filter, um, another holder for a lens filter, some random assortments of things, a uh, mirror cleaner and lens cleaner, I guess. Uh, we got some film canisters, another cap, and a cloth so i mean overall for what i paid for pretty fantastic now for the camera itself 
everything was in really good condition. Downtown camera agreed um, that everything was really good. I did have to get the seals replaced because uh, unfortunately um, the seals were pretty worn down. Um, so those got replaced. Um, but also this lens um, has a chip on the mounting system. So without even having to press the release, uh, you can take the lens off. Um, and the chip is so minute on this ring, if I can show. Uh, I don't think it's gonna allow me to. But there's a tiny little chip right here, um, and that's what's screwing it up. So I'm actually going to pick up a um, 50 millimeter 1.7 uh, lens to replace this one, and that's gonna be another $50. Um, so not the end of the world, it is adding a little bit of cost, but still for what I paid for this, I think it's a great, great idea. Um, and I think it's going to get a lot of use, especially this summer on my trip with my friends. And yeah. All right. So went and picked up that 55 mil 1.7 that I was talking about. And the guy gave me the whole camera. So this is an old Minolta SR1S. It's one of the first uh, SLR cameras that Minolta released and I mean it's probably not in the greatest shape uh, it's probably not usable in its current state but the lens is um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the lens and get it switched over onto my X700 all right so take this lens off and Very nice. Uh, it's got a hood on it. I could take the hood off, uh, which also has a filter. Um, and it's about got the same form factor as it did previously. Um, now the really nice thing about the this lens here is it's an MC lens. So the more uh, recent lenses, and by more recent I mean from the late 80s, are MD lenses. And they're a mix of plastic and metal um, they had a better coating on them, but um, their build quality wasn't nearly as great to a lot of people. And some people didn't really like the feeling of these because the MC lenses, which were older, um, had a much nicer mechanical feel. They were much smoother. Um, people felt like the glass quality was better, but the coating maybe wasn't as great. So I'm interested to try both of them and see how they are. Um, the lens itself is actually very clean. I don't see any fungus or anything, so that's awesome. I didn't see any when I was in, when I was inspecting it earlier, so the guy did a really good job taking care of it, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, looking forward to using this lens on the X700. Now, one last thing that we're actually gonna do with this camera is I'm going to take this off it's not a very nice strap i mean i don't have a very nice strap either but uh i have a better strap than this one this one's mainly just rubber uh, it's very, very small and thin, so we're going to replace that. And I actually have my Nikon um, with the Peak Design Quick Disconnects on them. So the nice thing is it comes with two pairs, so I have one pair on my A6400. I have my other pair here, and we will use these on here. All right, well, after a lot of fiddling around, the Peak Designs won't actually go through the loops here, so they have to go through the metal triangles, unfortunately, which adds a little bit of length onto these. 
But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. And this is what's going to come around with me in uh, in Europe. So I also picked up uh, a bunch of film. I picked up six rolls. So we've got two Fuji Superior um, 400s in here. We've got two Lomo 800s. Um, and two Portra 400s. Um, so looking forward to getting use of all of these. Um, and I mean, film is not cheap. All of this was about $124 Canadian just for film. Um, but it is a price I'm willing to pay um, to try something new and have a little bit more of experience. So if you guys do wanna see the results of my pictures, once I go ahead and start taking them with this camera, you can go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. I will post a bunch of them on there. You're also welcome to join the Discord and I will likely post them in there as well. So yeah, I am really excited to use this camera, do a little bit more with it. If you all wanna see more camera content, whether that is the 35 millimeter um, film camera or my digital um, camera, my mirrorless, or just content about you know how I have my camera set up or anything like that, please leave some comments down in the comment section below. Um, any feedback is welcome. And as many people know, I do like doing videos based on people's suggestions. So feel free to let me know. So I do hope that you liked this different style video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you liked and subscribed, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Also, I'd love to hear if any of you are shooting on 35 millimeter film, what cameras are you using, what film are you using, what lenses, anything like that, I'd love to hear about it. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thoughts Lime and Step Back, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you do wanna see any of my other content, you can go ahead and check out a video right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.